Wow, man. Talk about getting your mutant buzz on. Come to you high atop Indica Springs, Colorado. And I mean high. <laughs> and no authority field home of the Mile High Chronic. Just bought some of those brownies at the Get Baked sale. Man, these guys can bake up here. I can hear colors, Grim. Hey, Grim, order me one of them corned beef and hash oil sandwiches. I got the munchie something bad. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The Motor City Maniacs battle the Mile High Chronic. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If you're just waking up wondering who put that vice on your head and filled your mouth with vacuum cleaner, dirt, and cat litter, you're not alone. After all, it's Sunday, MFL game day. Hey, you look tired, Junior. And Bricks, you look like they just used your head in field goal practice. Spent all night in the ER. We ate Chinese food last night. Food poisoning? I wish. I got the chopsticks lodged in my ears again. You know, they should have a warning on them things. Second down in a lot. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. He's in the 20. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. And that'll be second down and four. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? First and ten. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Nicely done for a first down. Hey, man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Bob? First and eight to go. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. 
He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And that'll bring up second and one. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Friends. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Call man about a six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Rex. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. And that'll be second down and four. <gasps> water with strawberry fields and now they can taste sound but can't remember what the concept of he was starting to go somewhere but he gets stumped after three they usually stop me after three too you know the all you can eat buffets they're not as literal as you'd think unit you know punters really do know how to party bricks yeah oh yeah i have pictures that uh well maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here nice catch and he turns on the afterburners punt returners in this league have a life ex and that was a bone crusher right there folks <laughs> and it's first and ten a lot of balls in the past. Hey, yeah, uh, Bricks, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> They're back up here on first. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. Second down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot two. somehow and hold on for the first down this guy has a nice set of hands grim it's the third set of hands he's had so long today looks like it's a good fit and it's first and ten talk about butterfingers he should have had that one 
I thought the only tie we'd see would be a noose. Instead, they're in a dead heat. Tie game at the end of one. Second down and ten. here just kicked the ball through the upright for God's sake straight through the uprights the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score hey speak for yourself I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring Looks like they're just gonna pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. I call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not gonna touch that one. That's what she said. And it's first and ten. It's about a three-yard pickup. Second down and seven. Second down and more. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. Second down, and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Second down in a mile. Kind of reminds me that people warming up. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to rip the heads off of enemy players. For a second there. Second down and ten. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well placed cleat. 
Third down and well, good luck. Kaboom! And the quarter he can go all the way. And this werewolf is from London, I believe, signed in the offseason. Yeah, I saw him at Trader Tank's hotel bar the other night. His hair was perfect. Better watch out, he'll rip your lungs out, Bricks. <laughs> Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called center. It's good. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. You know this berserk dirty trick ain't fair to the QB. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Two minutes remain in the half. Wait! Right. I gotta take a dump! And it's first and ten. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents. And they take their first time out. 
Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. And it's first and ten. Oh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. They use their second time out, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> he dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Third down and eight. <laughs> Good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Gordon, did it? How good can it be? The defense calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. They get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. Yeah. And it's first and ten. stepped up and, and the offense has only two running backs left and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this win. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. And the quarterback signals for a hurry up offense. Hey Grim, what the hurry up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? Touchdown! And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's coupon night at Taco Hell. He has better footwork though than me. On a kind of not clenching and chasing on me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. First and ten. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. And timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. First down. And it's first and ten. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm going to go to a strip show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. Hey, man. I'm scared of a 
When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. A nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. And then Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Third down and five. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And it's first and ten. Hey, guys, this isn't funny. I swear to drunk, I'm not God. But seriously, staying drunk needs going. Don't do vegetables. Pass and catch for three. Receiver needs to break some tackles. Second down and seven. Running like a moose right now. Yo, man, touch an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Third down and long. Oh, what the brutal hit! Oh, that is such bullshit. I got money on this game. These guys need to talk to the ref about those calls. If I talk, I mean, you stomp them into the ground. Third down and never... Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. 
stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Ouch! What is this? Andy's wrestling? Yeah, man. I was going to stand him now. Oh, man. <laughs> And it's first and ten. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. And the QB might as well just bear. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. He broke free and has open field in front of him. The 20. The 10. It's a touchdown! The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh. And he plows forward for the two-point conversion. Turn here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. Chain's moving. That was beautiful. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> and it's first and ten. He was 
stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Third down and ten. somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had shown on today. Looks like it's a good fit. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. I love that show. Second down and six. And he gets three yards on that run. Third and four. I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm. Their marketing team hates it. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Huh? 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 Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my offseason. Second down and six. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Nice hit. And that'll be second down and four. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. First down and nine. Put on the afterburners after that catch and score. Nicely done. Don't make any mistakes.
mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. for the first down. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. And it's first and ten. And then Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. First and eight to go. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. And here comes the extra point attempt. Hey. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Oh, well, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And that'll be second down and four. And Chainsaws really have a way of extending the red zone on the count of that blood. They want more points, so they're going for two. And they run it in for two points. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing.
And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Oh, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. The defense calls their first time out to save some clock. I save clocks too, Grim. My wife hates them. They take up the whole garage. Wait, what? You're married? Mm, it's complicated. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's almost poetic, Grim. What the haiku? Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Briggs' match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused! <laughs> Second down, and, it, and that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of death's constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them, time out, to stop our own clock. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just... The Mile High Chronic win today's game, and their fans must be higher than a kite right now. And let's hear what the game's MVP has to say. Yeah, right. Go home to your fans, cars, million-dollar mansions, the dogs and girls, and your... Beautiful trophy wives, you losers! At least they're not attached to a loser like me. All right, losers, let's hear what the game's MVP has to say. Grim <laughs> Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Heart Corporation. They get it right every other.